Hey everybody, AZ80s girl back with you, and I'm attempting to use my iPhone today um, instead of my other camera. I think my other camera is just getting old, so sorry for any of the bad pictures, but we're going to try the iPhone and just go with that. So we're going to be continuing my Ashira Princess of Power collection, um, and we're going to continue with going over the rest of her friends, um, most of her friends. I still have a few, well, a lot more to go, but... These are going to be her main friends, and I'll, I'll continue with that. So, again, there's She-Ra, Princess of Power, on Swift Win, and you can check out another video that I did going over that one. And, again, these are the girls we're going to go over. Mermista is going to be uh, next with uh, going over the falls and stuff like that. So, okay, so here are the girls here, in which each of the action figures that you got, dolls, they came with a mini comic like this. Um, and they were all pretty much different. Some, you know, were replicated because they didn't have that many. And then he listed all the, the girls. And this was the first series of dolls here. So there's She-Ra, Bo, Double Trouble, Frosta, Catra, Castaspella, Cowl, Angela, and Glimmer. Now Double Trouble um, is actually in this one as... Um, I'm probably going to be knocking over a few things. She's actually in this comic here, and they start to come apart, as you can tell. And the comics are pretty much different than any of the cartoon series, as Double Trouble was never in the cartoon series. Um, I actually looked it up online, and they said that uh, Double Trouble was the cousin of Glimmer, and she was obviously in another town or something like that. And, of course, the Horde was trying to take over there, and she wanted to help out the Rebellion by getting rid of the Horde. So Double Trouble became a double agent because she had the ability to change her face, um, being good and evil. So if you could see with Double Trouble, here she is, she's got a switch on her back there that will turn her face from good to evil looking. So here we are. She's, so, she's good there, very nice. And what makes her evil is the, definitely the eyebrows and she just looks mad. So that is the evil Double Trouble and that so she's a double agent helping out she's actually good um, they said they just never were able to get her into the cartoon series so she has all in green with the silver boots she came with the purple lilac comb like the rest of the first series basically um, she did not come with the shield my uh, switch action is pretty much just loose she's just a little loose there it doesn't really switch back she has one piece of hair uh, that you can brush <laughs> mine has the original rubber band in it and this does not come off. This is part of her head, so it is attached. You don't take that off. Um, the skirt does come off, you know, just like the rest with the snaps. And then she comes with the green cape. It's kind of split in the middle here with a high collared um, sticker metallic on each side of her. So that is double trouble, okay? And she's pretty good with staying in the, these stands that I have. The next one that I will go over it will be Flutterina. And a Flutterina. Uh, was probably one of the ones um, that I saw in the show first versus these others. And Flutterina was the only one that I can recall that was an actual human, just regular human girl in the town, one of the towns. She wasn't, didn't have any superpowers at that time. And then the cartoon series, something was wrong with her, and she had to take her to Light Hope. Um, at that point, she became in some cocoon, and then when she emerged, she was Flutterina. It looked totally different had wings attached, <laughs> and that was how she became Flutterina. It was just some metamorphosis, they said. And I like Flutterina, um, and she is more of the second series of dolls, which you can see here. Um, this was part of the second series when they released Starburst Shira, and I haven't gone over that yet, but I will soon. Uh, and they listed all the second series dolls here. So we have Starburst Shira and Trapped a Sweepy, uh, Pika Blue, Perfume, a Mermista, Scratch and Catra, and Flutterina, Scratch and Sound Catra, sorry. And uh, so we're, that's what I'm going to be going over now. And the, most of these came with a matching shield, which they never carried shields on the show, and a matching comb. Um, so she has a bright orange shield and comb, and she has the skirt, and then she actually has a, a choker collar piece, or a neck piece that comes off. Um, her hair is usually split into two when, because of the back attachment. Um, the back attachment does come off, but this was probably, a lot of girls love this one because she had a little hook on one side to hook her to something, and she could actually flutter to up 
you know, go up there. So when you hooked it and then you pulled the string, her wings actually flutter and she goes up or down, okay? Gotta be really gentle with these. There you go. So I will sl slowly take this out of her back and hopefully nothing happened. There we go, okay. So it's the two posts, just like um, Angela, they have two holes in the back of the doll. There's two posts, that's what it looks like when it's off. Okay, uh, so there's a sticker, um, plastic covering, and then there's a little bit of metallic um, in them. The back doesn't have any coloring, it's just plain. Some of these will come off like that. Okay, and it does just pop into place. Be, be very careful with these as a lot of these tend to rip and you can't put them black, back in place. So they'd be able to just pop back in there. And there you go. Okay, so I'm going to put it back on her back. There. And you just line up the holes and press it in. Again, at this point, you just you know, you need to be careful that they don't break off in their backs, and that's just what happens when the kids play with them back in the day. So that is Flutterina. Now, the next one that I, and she, again, she's pretty heavy. I just will tell you, she's pretty heavy, so she won't stay in a stand very well. It just flops over. So for display purposes, I just lean her in the back of the case and keep her up, or lean her in the back of something. So that is Flutterina. The next one we'll go over is um, Perfuma. And Perfuma was... I think only in one episode, maybe two, that I saw, and she was more of a friend of Mermista and she wrote, you never really saw that, or Dora. So, um, she came with her matching, again, another matching shield and comb. It's like a pale green, lime green color. Um, they start wearing over time, so mine's kind of cracked. I can't really put it on her wrist because it's just been stretched over time and just cracked. Okay, that does happen. So, peak, this is Perfuma. I don't recall if they actually do. Or she actually has a scent, but I don't think she does. Um, mine has the original rubber bands in them. This is how her hair actually came in the package. Um, they may be a little corroded in her hair, but I actually like that it looked like fresh out of the package. She only has one little skirt, and it just poofs around her body here. And then she has a back attachment that has this little thing you push up and down. So flowering and down, flowering down, okay, attachment. And she does look a little different on the cartoon. She actually wore a hat that was a flowering, look, flower looking thing. Um, and she's actually kind of a silly character. She was just always so happy making everything blooming and flowering. Um, the episode with Hordak uh, kidnapped her, but actually turned to, you know, he actually wanted to get rid of her because she made the whole uh, Horde world full of flowers. And she was actually in a dancing conga line or whatever with the troopers. It was kind of funny. So that's Perfuma. And she actually fits in the stand okay, but I'm not going to do it right now. And then the next one that I recall uh, seeing on the episodes was Pika Blue. Maybe one or two episodes. Again, she came with a blue shield and blue comb. These are matching. Very pretty doll. I think one of the, you know, some of my favorite pretty dolls. She only has a skirt here that has like looking like a seeing eye. Um, her back attachment closes, it's a little difficult, if I can do it, sorry, you push up and it closes, push down, um, and usually they say, if I can remember correctly, when you open it, she's able to see the future, or she's able to see, uh, people coming, something like that, like the, the near future, and mine actually cracked in her back, the top one broke off into her back, so I only have one pose, so that's why it came off really easily. Um, again, I really don't play with these. I just display them and keep, try to keep them the best I can uh, together. Okay, so be really careful with these. And that's the matching skirt, like I said, with her Pika Blue uh, things here. Okay, so this is Pika Blue. And the next one we have here is Sweet Bee. Now, Sweet Bee came with a matching yellow shield and comb. Um, again, these were all good girls here and she, she came with the big poofy curly hair on the cartoon she was she was probably on two or three of those as well she um i think had more of a darker oranger hair than this but that you know who cares um her her wings come off and she's only in a one piece um outfit here so it just zips uh, 
Velcros up the back to her collar piece here, right there. And mine, I've noticed a lot of these that they're pretty loose waists. She has nothing, it's really loose. And I, I had several just to go through, you know, picking which one I wanted to keep. This one comes off too, and I'm pretty sure this glows in the dark, her headpiece. And then she was part of the whole um, bee world. Uh, there was a planet that looked like a beehive, and they were trying to find a new place to live. Uh, and they were all bee people. I'm pretty sure, yeah, so that was one of the crossovers with He-Man coming to visit uh, She-Ra and Adora. And He-Man kind of had the hots for uh, Sweet Bee and kind of made Frost jealous. So this was her little um, wing piece here, and the stickery metallic pieces, you know, tend to crack because it's a sticker, and it does have Velcro. So you can change it to this side and this side, and this pink side is fuzzy, and this was supposed to glow in the dark as well. So the pink side and then her headpiece, I'm pretty sure, glowed, glowed in the dark. So again, I don't claim to know everything, but just what I recall, um, you know, that's what I know. Okay, so these are the girls, and we're going to continue on, and hopefully it looks good with the iPhone. I'm just going to continue on doing as many as I can, and keep in touch, and watch the next one.